very powerful and disrupting because you can hit from nowhere basically and surprise your opponent so probably he didn't expect something like that i'm 100 percent positive he didn't expect something like that let me see if my friends is online oh yes he is i'm gonna challenge him with my escadrille Let's see if he really wants to battle this bad boy with the Pika Zacrum so we can actually see where this deck is um, against, you know, Pika Zacrum. So there we go! Alright. Going live against Cyber. Yeah, we definitely want to go first. Why? Because we really want to set up. Um... Oh, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Did I did I pick a team deck? Yeah, I, I didn't even. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, never mind. I just picked the wrong deck. It happens. It really happens. Alright, so I want the coin flip again. I'm starting first. And the game plan is to set, if it's possible, um, somehow, you know, fossil uh, a research lab in play. Extra card always. Mew. Okay. I might need that Mew. I will also attach energy and pass the turn. So, mm, come on, seriously, I have Cynthia at least. Probably I'm just gonna go with a Cynthia next turn. I think I should just go with a Cynthia and that's it. So, Guzma and Hela. Of course, for Thunder Mountain, for special lighting energy, special lighting energy for two cards. As long as I have Mew on the bench, I don't need to worry too much. I'm thinking about um, using the Marnie and Marnie my opponent down to four. Um, but again, I'm not quite sure how smart that really is. So he really wants to... Maybe he will just pass the turn, maybe he will try to go for a turn 1 full blitz. Um, he just needs a Tapu Koko and Energy Switch and he can do that. But um, without Energy Switch, Tapu Koko, it's gonna be impossible for my opponent to do something like that. So We shall see. Yeah, so there is, there is a Thunder Mountain, so he is going all in. And he did use Guzma and Hela, which means that he needs Tapu Koko, so any type of Quick Ball, so there it is, there is a uh, Tapu Koko. So Tapu Koko will, uh, came in play, and the only question remains, uh, will my opponent, will my friend actually have Energy Switch, or maybe Attack Switch? The first thing that can happen to me at a turn one is a full blitz and that actually happened so he full blitz me turn one and that's the power of Pika Zacrum so fortunately that is how Pika Zacrum works especially if you don't set up I did manage to find a um, research lab and right now, I really need to play Cynthia. I cannot allow myself to, you know, discard entire hands. And look at this Cynthia play. Both Karakost and Anorate pulled. You have to be kidding me. Seriously, like, what the heck is going on here? This game is lost. This game is impossible to be... ...one into my favor. Of course I'm gonna use Stadium now, and of course I'm gonna grab myself another Stadium.
Yep, I discarded my Caracosta with the Asian custom. I decided to keep Anorith. Neither of them are actually... Actually, Anorith would be good if he was in my, you know, deck, but he didn't. Boltland can knock me out. There's the Marsh Shadow for the Reese of the Hall, so he definitely wants to knock my research lab. And that's actually uh, a good move. You can, you know, just remove the card from your um, deck. And additionally... The end stop deck. I was expecting, you know, to get something top deck, but I didn't. Imagine that the top deck was the research for seven energy, escadrille, boom, two price knockout, and we would be back in action. So there is zero aura. The only thing that he needs right now will be just the energy, so he can quick ball for another dead den, the Dini, the Danny, for another daddy change. Um, there is a bolt one. If I can manage to survive maybe one more turn, who knows, maybe I can top deck something. But no, there is a tech switch, so... Yeah, with a tech switch, I can try to do some mad, but um, I don't think... I should even consider bothering with the mad right now, because... He can retreat, he can knock me out, and he goes down to two prize cards, uh, to three prize cards. Next turn he moves down to two prize cards. Right? Right, so next turn he moves down to two price cards. And I can knock because Ekron for three and I can knock Raichu for three. It's much easier to say that instead of to do that. So there is a Armaldo a little bit too late. Let's research for seven. He probably wants to finish me with his... I'm gonna definitely put me on the bench. And then I can um, pass the turn. Yeah, that's what I can do. That's what I can do. Um, boss order can provide me three prize knockout, but after that... I need one more boss order, so I definitely need second boss order in my deck. With two boss orders, I could win this matchup, but with only one, it is really impossible to win this matchup. Yeah, pretty much simple. And another bolt store for 280. We don't need Identified Boss, so we just wants to discard that card anyways. Um, it's all on the Sprint. Do I have Paul Path? I do have Paul Path. Even when I knock this Boutland. Still I need tons of other things. So there is Research for 7. There is a Escadrille. But then again, I don't have another Escadrille available on my bench. And this is so unfair. Really it is. He didn't use his GX. He didn't use his GX. Uh, which means that still he can uh, hit for 200. But I, did, I, I even forget about, you know, how Bolton can hit heavy, you know. So Bolton can hit for like four, five, six, seven energies in play. That's one hit not but anyways, so yeah. Every time I think I will win, I lose. That's because 
I, I didn't underrate Pika Zekrum, to be honest. Pika Zekrum is a very badass deck anyways, but um, with a boss order for the Pika Zekrum, and with another Escadrille on the bench, and with another boss order for Raichu, I, I could win the game, even when my opponent was down to 3 prize cards, literally. I did all good, I think I didn't make any misplay this game, but just the bad draw, the bad draw just destroys me completely. So there's another team. Maybe he just ran out of the, uh, ran out of the energy cards. Maybe he just ran out of the steam. But nope, there is another lighting energy and bolt storm for the knockout. So the only thing that I can try potentially to do is stolen turn with maybe a boss order. But if I boss order, then I'm immediately I can try to boss order. No, I cannot, I cannot. I cannot, unfortunately. Yeah, never mind. It's a GG. Because... I can sprint, and the truth is... I can get myself a Paul Pet play for the boss order, but then how should I draw the boss order? It's impossible to draw the boss order. So, well played. Really need the second boss. Maybe even Reese Stamp wouldn't be bad in this deck. Maybe even Reese Stamp wouldn't be that bad in this deck. Thumbs up, Cyber. You did a good job. Let's try to kick his ass this time. We only want those one. Okay, so starting with a Blitzy, Identify Fossil, Evolution Instance, Marnie, not bad. But I'm starting second, which means that I basically need to... I need to go for... I need to go for that Marnie play, and somehow I will need to try to retreat that Blitzy on the bench. Yeah, there's the game plan. Did I kept the switch? If I kept switch, I will just replace switch with another boss order. That's it. That's the game strategy here. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Still, I will just throw my hand and draw seven with the research. He had only four cards in his hand, so who knows what he had. But I don't have nothing. That's my concern. I don't have nothing. And he can hit for 70 and knock me out. So, that really hurts. That, re that research was a, such a mess that I don't even want to comment how bad it was. You have to be kidding me. That research for 7, no draw supporter, no quick ball, no evolution incense, no substrika. I don't know. But at least I managed to um, preserve my Blitzy. And of course there's a Thunder Mountain the den for daddy change. I really need to admit that this must be some kind of a curse 
every time I played against him, I drew really bad hands. It is just impossible to win with the bad hand. I mean, really it is. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I think Fossil can be discarded at any moment. Whew, Marty was a top deck. Well, well, well. Marty was a top deck. So, all suddenly, I thought I'm gonna be back in action. <laughs> okay, he says that um, he played two of the Danes in one turn. Uh, while he is only allowed to play one. So I will try to put my Anorate in play. But again, I don't have um, draw support. Again, I managed to top deck Marnie, but then um, from that Marnie, I couldn't find again Zemstrika. Um, Zemstrika is very important in this build because with Zemstrika, you can discard hand and you can just, you know. Um, draw four new cards, you know, you can draw four new cards, so there is research for seven, so he had research for seven, plus he had the din, even if he played two of the dins at the same turn, he made a mistake. get another top deck? That is a very good question. Not gonna risk. He can have the hoop up. Of course, I didn't get a top deck, so... Martial Art Dojo, Buff Petting, Energy, and with Evil Domination I can hit for... 40, 80, 90? Decent, decent, decent amount of damage, decent. Next turn I can hit for the Naka with my Drillbur, and um, technically I can draw myself two prize cards, so not that bad. So he decided to play without Pika Zekra, without Raichu, so just with the Whis in play, and he drew another research. Come on, can I get a Marnie at least? You know, even Zabstrika would be good. Of course, he decided to retreat on another Boltland. One ninety, expected knockout. So he moves down to three price cards. Still, I can win this game if I top deck something this turn. Boom! There we go. Finally, going all in with this Abstrika. I could have the knockout versus Baltland, but no, I decided to be greedy bastard and draw myself four new cards with Abstrika and pretty much draw nothing. Almost nothing. Like almost nothing. Literally almost nothing. Literally almost nothing. So big close for the knockout. 120. Giratina, useless. Energy? Useless. Not even the energy, not even a draw supporter. So I can um Lannis fishing rod. Two. I have Paul Path? No, I discarded already Paul Path. He had weakness. So, with the weakness, I can one hit knock him out and pretty much just, you know, um, win the game.
how many identified fossils I have too? Okay, so with this one I will have three. So lattice fishing rod is definitely for this uh, buff bedding as well as a drill burr and additionally I'm good to go with the I should yeah razor for seven better razor for seven um, really didn't want to risk really didn't want to risk let me see something out do I have Armaldo, I do have, so what if I draw into Armaldo and a Twin Energy? Well, my guts told me that I, uh, tells me that I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna get... Anyways, anyways, I'm not gonna get Escadrille, I can already see that. Let's print and let's see if we can get lucky with the Escadrille. Oh, actually, somehow I I went lucky. So, there we go. Drill Bazook for the knockout. And I'm down to two prize cards. So this is a very nice comeback, isn't it? So, Fighting Energy and Cynthia. And let me see how many... Yeah, I have one more copy of my Escadrille, so I think it's safe to say that I managed to win this game, so we should definitely go to the third game. Okay, so it's all about getting the Escadrille in play. So in order to do that, I'm first going to use Cynthia, so I can draw six cards, and then I can use basically some Striker if it's necessary, but it looks like it's not. So I can use Eleven Hard Take All and hit for 180. All right, let's go to game number three. So we shall see who's going to win that game number three. Definitely, Escadrill deck is favorable against Pika Zekrom due to the weakness. No doubt about that. This time I'm gonna call Tails. And I want a coin flip, so I'm gonna start first again. Alright. Do I really wanna put Giratina in play? I don't think so. But then he can dunk me, so I'm kind of scared about that. Alright, so he can dunk me, I have Blitzy, so everything looks good. Oh, Stadium Nav, as a top deck. And I even managed to draw myself a two Stadium cards, so I'm happy to use Research Lab at my turn one. Oh, that is a perfect combination start. I'm not gonna complain, that's the perfect startup. I'm already, I should say, miles uh, miles away against him, so right now I'm in a very good position. Definitely Electro Power, and probably he's trying to use Marnie, okay. At least I have Tate and Liza, and I have Quick Ball, 
So, not that bad. Technically speaking, not that bad. Um, definitely big challenge for him. Definitely big challenge for him. Um, my turn, there we go. Ooh, boss water. Alright, so one thing is clear. I'm not gonna need Hoopa. But I will definitely try to set up two of the in play. So I can go through my deck as fast as possible. Right now I have Bad Boy Escadrille in my hand, but unfortunately I don't have Drill Burry in play, so I cannot evolve. Um, but still, I can surprise him. I can surprise him with my um, Anorith. If he knocks my Mew out, I can attach energy to my Anorith, put um, Stadium in play, and hit for like 120 times too. 240? Actually, it's not gonna be enough for the Nocta. He have big charm. So he have big charm, so won't be enough for the knockout. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Won't be enough for the knockout. So there is a Thunderous Mountain. And energy switch. So he needs to power up this Zera Aura on the bench. He cannot take the risk if he don't find another Pokemon. Putting energies to Pika Zacrum. It's not recommended, definitely, because I can return knockout easily. I can return him knockout easily. I would really like to hear uh, from you guys what do you think about this deck so far? Do you like it or not? I think it's pretty cool. It is a rogue deck, which is the. Um, which is my signature, you know, game signature for sure. I really like to play rogue decks. You know, let's go with that energy attached. We can always close slash. Maybe we can even take the knockout. Martial art dojo, so very close. Very close. Unfortunately, not enough because of that big charm in play. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness, I just put Karakosta in play. It is enough for the knockout. It is enough for the knockout because tools are not affected anymore. Oh my gosh, how in the world I forget about that? I didn't even pay attention. This is probably the greatest knockout of all times. Anorith managed with the claw slash to knock Pika Zekrom. If somebody tells you that Anorith would knock out Pika Zekrom, you, you wouldn't believe him. So, yeah, we have DQ, DK, Kugmarine says that he really likes this deck. Yeah, I also like this deck as well. I just, I think I just need to find a spot to add another boss order. And in order to add another boss order, I will go with um, Switch Replacement. I think I still play a copy of Switch. Or I actually replaced that switch for um, Tate and Liza. I'm not quite sure, but I really need to find that out after this matchup. So, Boltland takes the knockout. As expected, of course. And basically, Karakosta did a great job, so I'm not gonna need it anymore. I'm gonna put another Identify Fossil in play. I'm gonna put my Drill Burr as well as this Pulp pet. All right, and then I'm good to go with the research for seven. So after he knocks me out, he'll move down to three price cards, obviously. Um, ordinary rod, energy attachment. Yeah, I can. I can think. I can do both. I can do both. I can shuffle Anorith and one Fighting Energy back in my deck. 
I can manually put Android in play. But screw that. Let's go with Identified Fossil Play and Android Combo. We can do that. So DK says that he didn't think I would ever see an Android get overhit on a pick room. That was insane. Really, it was. Really, it was insane. Personally, I didn't even uh, see this play coming up, to be honest. The moment I put that care cost in play, I just realized that um, his tool uh, is not affected anymore, and I was like, wow, that's it, that's the knock that I have fighting energy attached to my Android. I can simply swing for 120 times too, which should be enough for the knockout, and I managed to pull three price and go ahead um, with the price cards. So, really, really, really good turn that was. So Boatland will continue taking uh, knockout after knockout and he will continue carrying him through the game. But the next turn I have again two options available. The first one is to promote Anorith and pretty much go for um, let's say maybe his evolution or maybe for, let's say, um, Diancy, or maybe for Diancy. But as it looks right now, I'm gonna definitely promote Android in play, no question about it. For Drill Burr, I need Fighting Energy plus Escadrille, so it's much, it's much harder for me to find those cards. So I'm just gonna quick ball my Fion. And I'm gonna put that DNC in play. So right now I'm hitting for 60 times 2, 120. There is Abstrika, so technically speaking, I can I can keep trying to find what I need. So, sprint for four new cards. There we go. There is a Armaldo, as well as a Escadrille. And I can use Asian Blast and hit for 280 and take another two prize cards, which means that I move down to only one prize card. And basically, the game is over for him, even if he managed to, you know, Reese stamped me down to one card. It really wouldn't matter too much. It really wouldn't matter too much. So he decided to paralyze me there. All right, sneaky play. Do I have another um, Tate and Liza available? I do have one more Tate and Liza available. Is it available in my deck? Yes, it is. Okay, so I can sprint for 8, technically. And technically speaking, I can find Tate and Liza. So, another quick ball for Giratina, let's say. And 13 more cards left. I have another sprint available. There is a Tatan Liza, and I can switch my active Anorith with my Escadrill and basically use Drill Bazooka for 280 and for the last price card. That is a GG!